Well, hello everyone! It's time to continue the Gran Turismo 4 randomizer challenge. So, last time we got quite lucky and I have a lot of good cars. <laughs> really good cars. So it's time to see what else I can do with them or if I need to start chasing some events to earn some worse cars because this is going to get boring otherwise. Hope everyone is doing well. And we'll get started. Actually, I wanted to do something that I left last time. I wanted to use this thing. This thing is going to be useful for the micro race. <laughs> so we might as well get started and get this over with. See what else awaits. I hope everyone's doing well. We're, we're going to get this started, just, just a second. I need to do the usual oil change. Because of course, whenever you buy a car, the first thing you do is change its oil. Obviously, the first time, thing you do is change its oil. Hey, Warfare! XT and Jeff, hope you are, all, are having a nice, a nice, a nice night because it's quite late this time. I mean, it's early, well, somewhat early. It's just 7:30 p.m. in here. It's not too late. But for some of you in Europe and other places, it's really late in here. So yeah, sorry for the, for the time today, but it's the best I can do. And I really wanted to stream this. Before I before I upload a new video tomorrow regarding Gran Turismo 4. Oh, come on. Which will be quite the challenge, actually. It's going to be a really long challenge, and it's going to be fun. At least, personally, I think it's going to be fun. Fun for you all to watch. You get to use a lot of cars, and there's lots of interesting races. Oh, right, this thing has shock absorbers rather than shock rebound setup. Oh, right, this thing is pretty low already. 3.30 p.m., yeah, that's all right. Make this a bit stiffer. This one's a bit stiffer as well. Eleven thirty PM and I just finished a thousand and five hundred world ESA. Oh that's long. That's really long. Uh what's well I haven't done essays for for anything since I left university a few years ago, but most of the time I write it's a script for video, so sometimes they go over two thousand, three thousand 4,000 words at times. Ah, yes, Pokemon Nuzlocke. Those are really fun. I always wanted to try my, my hand at those, but... You know, uh, I like cars more, so I'll have to balance it out. Maybe one day. Uh, I can do this with race tires. Interesting. Yeah, we'll do this with race tires. GT randomized Nuzlocke, that will be crazy actually. If you lose a race with a car, the car is just gone. That will be an interesting challenge. But at the same time you need to have enough money to keep buying cars, otherwise you just lose and have to start from scratch. Also, let me know if the audio is fine, because maybe it's a bit louder, maybe it's a bit lower. You know, how it goes. I just did this on a rush, so... Yeah. 
this race is going to be really easy. I already, I can already tell you because I have racing tires and these things are really pretty much stuck. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a boring race, but you know. Yeah, that's the problem, see, because selling it gives you money back, and if you ask me, that will make it a bit too easy, because most of the time you'll have money to buy another car. So if someone can manage to edit uh, a Gran Turismo game so the resale value of all cars is zero, that will be pretty cars at the same time and really interesting for the challenge. You know, just me thinking a lot. Especially me, who likes to grind money because I like to buy as many cars as I will like, as I want, because I also want to drive different cars. So yeah, for me, it will be a nightmare. <laughs> the B1 compels you. <laughs> Actually, it's not that awful. I like the B1. Uh, out of those, those Pike Nissan cars, I think the V1 was a Pike car. The one I like the most, of course, is the Figaro. Figaro, I don't know if it's an A or an E. An e. The tiny roadster thingy. But, yeah, I mean, the V1 isn't bad. It just needs to be yellow like everything in this life. <laughs> yellow is the best color for it. Maybe red, but yellow's bad. We prefer yellow things in this channel. Oh, under steel. <laughs> Does this thing have... Um, um, this thing doesn't have st st stabilizers, right? They didn't, they didn't change those. That's interesting. Ha, <laughs> there's worse things to look than a micro. You know, it could be... It could be, I don't know. Um, maybe you have. I'm struggling to think of an, on a better, of a worse car. You know how it goes. Personally, I cannot stand the Dacia Duster because they are every, everywhere in here. And yeah, the funny thing is, in my country, Dacia sells their product as Renault Renaults. So. People think they bought a Renault because Renault is no longer producing their European lines and they don't even bring them here. So people think they have a, a Renault when in reality all they got is a Duster, a Dacia Duster with an engine which, which has over 10 years already. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pity Cursor. Pity Cursor is pretty bad. Oh, great. Great! We have started already. Great. Excellent. We have started already. Sorry for that. Uh, it's starting to happen now. Uh, it didn't have these issues before. Is everything alright now? I think it should be back now. Sorry. It's really annoying because I never had these issues before and now we have them. <laughs> and this is the second time it happens already. And I'm not sure if it's my internet because it should be alright for 720, 720 upload, 720 streams. <laughs> no, not Telecenter. Of course not. The thing's a disaster. I don't have Telecenter. A Viper for Le Mans. It, it, the SRT10 is kind of competitive, but it cannot beat the LMP cars. Um, no, I'm doing a race with uh, with this car because it's a manufacturer event, and I want to get the price car because it's randomized. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, thank God I don't have Telecentro. Like, I, if I'm sure. It's probably the worst provider in the area. I don't have them. 
Uh, it's really annoying because I usually don't have these issues and it's the second time already. The, on Sunday I had an issue like this and now we have, it, have them again. Let's hope it's the only time it happens during the stream. And yeah, let's just hope. If not, I'm sorry already in advance. And I'm really hitting top speed. This thing is faster than I thought. I might want to do this, the, the FF challenge with this thing. This is going to be fun. Of course, I mean, I got the worst color, which is really frustrating. I really want this thing comes in a few funky colors. We'll sh I'll show them when it's done. But of course I got the silver one. Like, I mean, it's kind of a purplish silver. I mean, it's not that bad. But come on, it could have gotten a better color than it. I'm just crossing right now. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, yeah. Go oh, wipe. I don't care. The bears and the leaf. I uh, seen a few micro. I know. I'm not sure if it's the micro because here they call it the march. Like the Nissan Compact is called the march, and then they have the Sentra four door. And for some time, I'm not sure if I still sell it. They had like an awfully cheap four door saloon, which was really cheap, and that of course because it's cheap, it sold well. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? So yeah, the Nissan line in my country, it's nothing special. It's actually one of the worst manufacturers in the country, if you ask me. Paired with Dacia slash Reynolds, as I explained earlier, because funny those thing, funny how it works, those two work together. <laughs> oh, thanks, Matthias. I'm glad. I'm glad you like the channel. Oh, hey, Tiran. Hope you're doing well. Uh, no, sorry, I won't use an R34. Right. Right, next race. Next race. Ooh, Crumble. Oh, it's probably Crumble East. Yeah, Crumble East. Um, I'm going to suffer in this straight, but it should be fine. Keyword, should be. Yeah, such is the nature of the randomizer. It's funny because it allows me to use this thing with racing tires in the micro cup. And in theory I should be able they shouldn't be able to do that. But the, the it's the original game, I remember it allowed you to do the same. For a second I thought it would be a line above these things, but no, I, I didn't get any. Ah, don't worry, Jeb, it's really late for you. Ah, uh, you should go and rest. I appreciate it, man. Have a good night. And of course, it's the 90s. My crowd march in front. I always change the name of, those car of that car. Sometimes I call it the March, sometimes I'll call it the Micro. <laughs> it's like my mind cannot decide how to call it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be alright. And if not, I'll just chase it through the corners, it's just two laps. My god, this thing has good brakes. They are painfully slow, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh man, this doesn't feel good. 
I'm probably going to get screwed. I'm going to get an awful price car, which is, I admit, it's going to be deserved, given my awful behavior. Awful behavior in this race. Oh, hey, Ham. Yeah, this is getting really popular, and they might as well decide to pop on the... Up on the randomizer train before it goes away. Such is the nature of the YouTube game. Sometimes you have to run before you walk and yeah, whatever. I admit I'm used to running before walking, so for me it works out. It does work out. But I gotta say, like, this is really fun, and it opens a lot of doors for what can be done with Gran Turismo 4 now that the code has been cracked. The future of Gran Turismo 4 looks really bright, I believe, because it has always been a popular game, right? And now, now that people are starting to mod this thing, we might end up with something which is better than we all expected. In a way, I think this fact that people can mod Gran Turismo 4 now... Of course, now now it's going to be a bit slower, because it's... I, I assume it's not easy. It's probably really difficult to mod this game. But in the long run, I think this means Gran Turismo 4 will probably be... for us with a, for a very long, long time. If people couldn't forget the... Oh, right. Price car. Oh! <laughs> hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> um, screenshot time. Just let me get a good angle. Just this angle sucks. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I got another R32. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this... Oh, where is the MMR? Yeah, here it is. See, it has all these cool colors and I get this one. This one. And I could have gotten a blue. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. This is nice. No. This is also nice. I got this one. Never mind. Oh, hey, Blend. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Oh, yeah, there's a small change now. Uh, if, a, if a car wasn't, like, you couldn't buy it on the dealership, if you earn it, you can buy it on the dealership now. Um, hmm. Yeah. One, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to use this thing. Why not? Why not? Oh, right. I disabled the, the driving gates. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, which, which kind of parts do I want? I really wanted to stop it from understeering. So I think I'm going to buy... Hey, let's buy the cheapest suspension kit. And... Maybe station... Yeah, maybe station one reduction. Hey, OT enjoyer, hope you're doing well. Yeah, things are going nicely, we just won an extra skyline. I have two R32s now. Um, this might be too much, but I want to have it in as a safety net. Alright, oh, yeah, save. Uh, because the game might trash. Sorry, <laughs> forgot to save. Yeah, remaking racing games, it's really difficult. And that's why I don't expect any remakes from any racing games at all, ever. Because it's really difficult. 
one will believe it's, you know, not too hard, but it is. Because you have to get all the licenses for specific cars. And that alone is already a nightmare. If you have a lot of real racing tracks, you have to do the license for those racing tracks. And so on and so on. There's so many, so many deals that have to be made. Personally, I will, I will settle with racing games that just, you know, don't go out of, out of the stores, but that's the same problem. I mean, you have the problem with the licensing. That's really, literally the same problem. Ooh, I'm at Faramir, 160, 166, and a GTV in front. Oh, I, for, I forgot to adjust my suspension. Oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> hey Fermin, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I mean, if they use fictional cars, it's a big rope like, out of the way. But at the same time, you people are like, eh, no, fictional cars, they don't like fictional cars. and In a way, I, I understand, but at the same time, I believe fictional cars are a really great tool, and they should be used more. I mean, if you look at the car designs in GTA 5, you, you can tell me they are bad. Of course, the game mechanics are a nightmare, but the cars are excellent. Ah, music is easier than you think. But, yeah, that's a problem at times. The problem is music companies have a really old mindset and... It's starting... I, I believe it's going to start hurting them in the long run. So, yeah. That's going to be something that will change down the line. I like to believe, you know. I, like, I try to be a positive person. Because otherwise I will have jumped off a building a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is actually really good. Yeah, record labels are a pretty nasty business. The way they... I mean... It's really disappointing, but at the same time, it's a really old-fashioned business. I'm not the person who says like who likes to think, you know, everything old should be torn apart. I'm more of the if ain't broke, don't fix it type of person. But the record labels and their business practice are really broken. If I use two seconds of a song, that uh, that doesn't mean people are listening to two seconds of the, uh, to the entire song. And at the same time, if I'm talking over it, that doesn't mean people are listening to the song. They're listening to whatever is on top of it. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. I remember, that, like, Metallica got their own stream taken down. They couldn't even make an exception. They couldn't even make an exception for the band playing their own songs. Guess they have to play royalty-free covers now. Uh, no, no reshade. Just PCSX2. Yeah, exactly. Fictional cars are really good. Fiction as a whole is really good. It's always a great way to to escape a, a, a great bit of escapism, I guess you could say. Right, I'm going to take this chance to save and... Ah, uh, yes, I do use the shade boost setting. I have a bit of brightness, a bit of contrast, a bit of everything, but it's like 50... It's really, really soft, so yeah. Uh-huh. One degree of cap. One point five. And we're going to lower the right height a bit. Mm, yeah, why not? Mm, 
<laughs> Realty free metal. Yeah, pretty much. That's going to be the future of our elevator music, royalty free Metallica. Ah, you're welcome. Don't worry about it. I know the language barrier might be a problem, but uh, you uh, internet, you know, the, the all of this stuff is online, and it's just follow the guides and copy and paste. <laughs> And if something go goes wrong, it's really easy to backtrack and see if you missed a step. That's pretty much the way I have done multiple times. And uh, no, this is... Um, so I lower the... You can... Uh, let me get my thoughts in, in line. <laughs> you can lower the volume of the racing music and keep the menu music for Gran Turismo 4. The other Gran Turismo has had all the music thrown together in the same the same slider, but Gran Turismo 4 finally made that well-needed change, and that's why you hear menu music. You can do it in the original Gran Turismo 4 as well. Oh, that's a boat. Is that a Primera? Yeah, that's probably a Primera. Ah, don't worry, you're broken. I'm starting to like this thing a lot, it's really good, and I also got a good color. Yes, you can see that I'm actually really interested in the cars, in the color of the cars he gets, especially when they are price cars. I am the sort of person who will say, no, I won't use that car because it's it's the color I don't like. Sometimes, unless I really need the car, or, or it's a really good car. But yes, I usually like my cars to be of interesting colors. Uh, I cannot stand buying cars in boring colors. <laughs> um, everything that has been made by a third party, it's and has been placed in a game usually usually needs a license because you don't own the rights to that thing that's placed in the game. So let's just say that I make a, I design a car, right? I um, God forbid the world from seeing my drawing skills. But if I design a car and the and the game decides to say, hey, I want that car in my game, the rights to the design are mine. So they have to get a license from me to put it in the game. It, unless, unless it's made by people in their studio and they decide, look, you made this for us, this belongs to us, it doesn't belong to you, so we can renew the light. We don't have to do licenses. It all belongs to us. Which happens in some cases, and that's why some games get remastered. And remastered yet again. <laughs> and 10,000 re-releases and all of that. <laughs> Also, making games compatible with different hardware is harder than you might think at times. It's not as easy as it looks. Emulation is just a proof of it. You, you, uh, I don't know, like, a PS2 has a really small amount of memory, but we need a really beefy PC to run this game without lag issues, without frame drops. So yeah, sometimes you just have to brute force things, and consoles just, you know, are a bit, are a bit less powerful than PCs, and they cannot allow to brute force issues in the same way emulators do. Also, there's 20 of us, and there's just five likes. So if you haven't left a like on the live stream, you should do it now. Because it really ha helps the live stream to be promoted. Uh, yes, I want to quit this race. I already won. Oh, Hong Kong. The independent territory of Hong Kong. Let's go. Bring it on. It's... 
safety safe state you know what that reminds me of plain dev you know there's like uh though a lot of people who make the the baseline for a song right like the basic drum and bass pattern and the all the bass in, in rhythm instruments for people to play over it and it usually sounds like a bit cheap <laughs> that's what the royalty free covers of famous songs remind me of <laughs> i think this is worse than opera paris this is way worse than opera paris no excuse me opera paris is way way worse than hong kong because while you don't have room to overtake in hong kong the track is flat Opera Paris is all bumpy and it's a disaster at times, so yeah. Also, it doesn't help the game has this awful habit of throwing these, tr these tracks, both Opera Paris and Hong Kong, at cars that are really way too powerful for it, and it creates a lot of really annoying situations. Yeah, emulation for Xbox is just starting. Which is a shame, because I really want to try Forza, and I don't have the means to try Forza right now, because, of course, A, financial situation, B, if I find a legit Xbox in this country, it, uh, I have higher chances of winning the lottery. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Ah, right, yeah, that's interesting. The problem is the brand itself rather than the design. Yeah, I get what you mean. That's, that's, in yeah, that's probably another thing to consider. Ah, of course, Project Gotham Racing. How could I forget? Yeah, and then, then there's all the 360 forces, but... That could be easier to find. I know the 360 sold well here because you could put a chip on it and, you know, run games from the from the seven seas, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but then again, I will have to set up a, a set up a console, record the console, and I'm not sure how that's done. I never done it and. It sounds expensive, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it sounds really expensive. You need a, uh, a capture card and I don't have any of those. Yeah, I remember all the all the hype around Forza 4, and I always wanted it when it released, but you know, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> I couldn't afford Forza 4. So I just watch videos on YouTube about Forza 4, as I did with pretty much all of those games from that generation. I pretty much lived that generation of games, and most of them afterward through YouTube, really. Oh <laughs> yeah, the early Xbox is there. Had the, the red ring issue and they just stopped working, they will break. I remember that. <laughs> that was that was a crazy time. And even the early PS3s have the same issue, like they will have a, a yellow light or orange light that will turn on because it will overheat like crazy, like the big bulky early PS3s. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm just going off my memory here. Never been much of a console person, funny enough. For sure, you're here. Sleep well. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you have a good night. I'm going to start the 
wheels hang on here because this thing has wheel spin. Oh, look, a C5. That's one boat right there. <laughs> it's totally a tugboat of a car. Just look at it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to the grass. Oh, there's an Avantime. I really like the Avantime for some reason. It's it's such a weird car, but it has its own charm. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you say that. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of nostalgia in this little project of mine, but at the same time, it's always nice to bring these games that people were raced by because I was raced by these racing games and I'm sure most of you were in a new and interesting light because I pretty much played them like this for years you know doing challenge runs all of those things so yeah of course there's always a bit of nostalgia in this in this thing this YouTube thing that I'm trying to market to you all but I admit I enjoy the challenge of bringing th things in a different perspective <laughs> um, I'm actually from, from Argentina, Rowan. Ah, yes, Forza managed to get the Porsche license, which was a miracle. But it was a DLC, and I think now, now you can't find the DLC, if I remember right. Just how those things go, you know. You can't buy the DLC anymore. Oh, hey, Loki. How are you doing well? Welcome to the stream. We're doing more randomized madness here. We'll see which is our next prize car after I'm done decimating the FF challenge. Ooh, cons. <laughs> this, isn't a, this isn't a coffee break. Still, there's always time to knock cons. Oh, this thing goes sideways now. Oh, first the two had them on disc. Nice. But I remember four. Four have a DLC for the Porsche, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not eating the gears. Yeah, the live stream was last Sunday, actually. Actually. I do. Uh, I really wanted to bring this this game forward because a everyone's doing it, so I might as well jump on the boat. And b I really want to see which cars I get. I'm totally curious. Like I've been thinking about it ever since I stopped playing it. And at the same time, I've been thinking about it since I've been editing my last video because I've been working all all day editing videos today. So tomorrow we are going to have a new video to enjoy. Which I admit is going to be a bit long, but yeah, I think you'll like it. It's going to be a nice Gran Turismo challenge. It's going to be Gran Turismo 4. So yes. Ah, no, I'm not from Eastern Europe. No. Latin America. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous country to look at, but it's not the same to live in. Let me tell you that much. Yeah, Forza had, used to have these crazy tuner cars, right? It had the top secret Supra, it had like a few modified Corvettes as well, I remember. And yeah, that's all I can think of the top of my mind. There's probably more. Pretty sure there's a lot more. But yes. I think this is the last race of the FF Challenge. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally not sarcastic at all there. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, there's a lot of pretty places here. There's a lot of pretty places here and of course, that's... In, in, let me get my thoughts in order, I'm sorry again. There's, there's a lot to see here and there's a... Uh, there's no denying it that there's a lot of beauty in this place, but at the same time, the people who don't know the the, the other stuff, 
the living stuff, the daily life. That's where a lot of things just get muddy and I, it's not worth it, you know. I mean, I'm going to be honest, Mexico is better off than Argentina, way better off. But yeah, Mexico has its own problems as well. But yeah, the, the Argentina experience is something that cannot be compared to any other countries because it's absurd. It's totally absurd. The economy is absurd. The daily life, the people who live here are on a special level of bizarre. It's like a different reality. One can create a, a Netflix series with the stuff that happens in this country. Um, yeah, politically, economically, all of it. It's just, you know, it's one of those chain things, like... Event A leads to event B and so on and so forth. Um, personally, most people should be fine. I mean, if you get... Uh, most people in, who come from Britain should be fine. I mean, there's always some really stupid people who like to make jokes about it and have a bit of bitter resentment, but 99% of people are fine. Well I, ma well, I made that video on the Top Gear incident because that was clearly, clearly instigated by a group of media and politics. So it's not exactly the representation that a uh, tourist will have. <laughs> uh, it's Ohio really that bad? I thought Ohio was like in the middle of nowhere, like literally nothing happens. Or I'm confusing Ohio with Iowa. Uh, maybe I'm confused, you know. There's a lot of states in the US that I don't know 100%. Most of my US contacts have been faded, have, have faded away over time. I used to have them, I used to have way more earlier in the past. So, my knowledge on the US is a bit sketchy. Yeah, I mean, I like to believe most people are good, even if at times they they might have the... They have the right intentions, but their actions are wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah, I am confusing Ohio with Iowa. Right, right. Good, good to know. Good to know. Odds are, if you live in the first world, <laughs> you'll start to meet a lot of Argentinians real soon because there's literally a massive exodus going in and out from the country and now people are fleeing away as fast as they can because the economy is getting worse and yeah, there's... Oh, a new price car! Let's see, let's see... Oh! <laughs> okay, I can use this thing, but it's silver! No, it's silver. This is disappointing. Why do I... Of course, it, I get the terrible color, but it's fine. It's fine, AS300. I like you. I like you anyway. You're one of my favorite Lexus ever made. So we're going to use you for the FR challenge. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's an excellent... That's an excellent quote. Oh, right, there's an Altesa race as well. Huh. Yeah, we're going to do that now. No, not this. This. Right, what I was saying, I was talking about the yeah, the Exodus, so a lot of people, most people here who can are fleeing the country. So there's an influx of Argentinian immigrants all over the world. Hmm. 
drill die. It is pretty chunky. Yeah, oh, there's no event. Mm, maybe in Japan. But yeah, totally in Japan. No. Oh. I swear there was an Altessa race. Oh, here it is. But this is... Yeah, it, it, it's good. It's good. Italy and... Italy and Spain are flooded with Argentinians. There's places who just cannot take more people, literally. Especially in Spain, because there's this double citizenship thing going on, which of course I don't have because I'm such a fortunate individual. <laughs> so, since you have a lot of Italians and Spaniards who came to live here, a lot of people have access to the dual citizen citizenship. So that means they have both an Argentinian and Italian or Spanish citizenship and they can use it to travel to... Italy or Spain with a citizenship and that's that's you know they are, it opens a lot of doors it opens way too many doors for them to start working and all <laughs> yeah a lot of people say that I think there's I think it's you know it depends on the individual There is pretty men and women everywhere you go. It just matters on the on the individual, I will say. That's my kind of my stance on that. Um, I wouldn't say it's useless to have a, another citizenship. Of course, Spain right now it's going to the toilet, so. Yeah, I get your point, but it's not a bad idea to have a double citizenship. It's always good to have opportunities. I know it's different for some people because they have a life in their countries, <laughs> to put it in simple terms. It's easier to to get somewhere in their country, so the idea of leaving seems alien. But having a dual citizenship can open a lot of doors if you know what you're doing. It all depends but depends on the on the sacrifices you want to make. That's everything in this life, it's all a matter of compromising. Also I love how soft the suspension in this thing is. It totally adds to the to the wagon experience. <laughs> ah, Irish passport. I heard uh, I heard Ireland is pretty nice. Uh, of course, I heard. You know, I never got to be there, but I heard pretty good things about it. Ever since things got in back in track, because the last century was pretty crazy for Ireland without going into much detail, because I'm going to get shut down by YouTube. <laughs> but yes. Ah, right, of course, Brazilians in Portugal, of course. That's to be expected. But see, that's the thing. Uh, I'm not sure if... Maybe I'm wrong, but... I don't see Brazilians with this desire to run away from Brazil as much as Argentinians have th th this desire to run away from Argentina because things are really on the toilet. To put it in context, I have, I'm, like, I'm 24 years old and in those 24 years I haven't seen a single time where this country was in a decent financial situation. It was always crisis after crisis. So that kind of changes the way you see things. Oh, hey, Matthias. <laughs> Good to have the Brazilian Brazilian representative here. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. It's a, it's a luxury experience, but at the same time, luxury manufacturers are making cars that are stiffer and stiffer every year. So maybe they drive like a wooden carriage. <laughs>
Oh, one lapens in Suzuka. Oh, I'm sorry, Blood. Everyone, everyone here is able to represent their countries. I, I appreciate, I appreciate having a very varied, varied audience. I appreciate that. Yeah, right. See, that's the thing, Pedro. Most of the people who leave leave because they cannot stand their countries, and of course, they don't want to go back at all because th things are bad. So yeah, it all makes sense. I mean, yeah, chat became international, totally. Uh, I really, I really like that. I'm, I'm someone who's really into that sort of thing. Of course, I'm racing games and talking about cars, but I'm really into, into all of the country dramas and all of that. Let's just put it that way. Of course, I mean, some people think it's heavy topics and they, they like to skirt around them, but I don't. I like them. I find it interesting. Yeah, totally. This chat is totally international. I like it so much, man. <laughs> I like this so much, man. <laughs> this is the sort of experience I wouldn't have if I made these streams in Spanish. Do you realize that? <laughs> no, it's just a bit of shade. Just a bit of shade. Don't, don't get upset with me now. <laughs> don't get upset with me now. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Easy now. We only have one lap, so I don't want to throw this away. Ah, yeah. That was, yeah, it will be totally a different experience, yeah. Yeah, it will be a totally different experience. It's not that one that I'm against, don't get me wrong, because it has its own charm, but it is what it is. I do admit there's a lot of jokes and stuff which loses its meaning and I would totally love to use, but it's a compromise, as I said earlier, everything is a compromise. <laughs> oh, hey, Tikanji, hope you're doing well. First time someone drives the sport cross. Well, there's a first time for everything, and I totally like to be ahead of the curve. So, IS300... Video coming soon? Maybe? Maybe you could throw a setup for this thing? Right, next race, next race. <laughs> ah, fair, I mean, I do both because it's, it's, I mean, it's more information, you know, you can't say no to having more information and more, and more, more, more yeah, sorry, more information, I'm getting stuck in my pot. It's always good to have more sources, let's just put it that way. So I try to consume as many people as I can. And um, besides, there's this theory that I have, which is somewhat proven by the racing community, from what I see, that us people who speak Spanish most of the time can't speak or understand English at the very least. So uh, you'll always see the two, the two audiences. Oh, look at that! Those three IS, like the green, the red, and the yellow, are so cool. I love those shades of shades. And they have silver here, of course, they get silver. And the leading car is blue, it's such a pretty shade of blue as well. Wait, I reached 2k over the stream! No way, that's excellent! That's so good. I wasn't expecting to reach 2k today. I thought it would be tomorrow, because... 
the, the the pace of the growth has slowed down a little bit, but still, Cong uh, thanks everyone and well, congrats to you all as well because I'm not the I'm I'm the guy pulling the videos, but you are the one pushing it into the algorithm and helping them to get to more people, and that's why likes are so important. I and I will always bother you with them. <laughs> So yeah, remember to do that if you haven't already. Oh, I really like this corner. It's so fun, especially in this in a soft soft car like this. Now you can see the body roll just going around from side to side, and it's so funny. You just have to be careful with the groceries on the back. <laughs> Imagine you just wasted your entire sal salary on food and you start to drive like a maniac and when you arrive the food is a disaster. Totally, totally a bad idea. Ah, uh, no, don't go so wide, come on. No, oh god, I, I, I looked away for a second and I tapped the grass. What makes you think I want to touch grass? Oh, of course, he got so close now. Yeah, funny enough, someone talked about the sport grass on the last stream. <laughs> funny how things go around. Always, everything is a chain. Event uh, event A leads to event B, and you know how it goes. Uh, it see it is public now. If you check the description, the the link of the creator, which is the Ademeister, is uh, in the description, and you should check his channel. It's on the his community posts, and you'll find the links there. I'm sorry, I'm not going to make a Twitter account, okay? I'm not going to make a Twitter account. I don't care for Twitter. So, yes. I, I'll i have to... You'll have to do this bit of a backward approach. But it, it is there. Trust me, it is there. And it's really easy to set up as long as you have the... appropriate copy of Gran Turismo 4 online. Not like I did. <laughs> and it took me some time to realize there was multiple copies of this game. Oh, thanks, XT. XT, yeah. It's it really feels nice to have 2K. It really feels nice to have the channel growing, especially now that I'm kind of stuck because there's nothing to do in here. So I just decided to invest time growing YouTube and seeing if it can work work out for me. The the reality is that I'm doing, I, <laughs> I'm run I'm doing everything at a loss right now. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> So I'm I'm throwing as much as much time and effort on into YouTube to see if it pays off. And if it doesn't, well it'll be we'll see what he finds. We'll see what he finds. Although I I'll, I'll always have something to do, I like to believe. Yeah, Yun, that's the thing. It it helps to promote my content, but at the same time. It seems, it seems like a bit of a nightmare, and given how it's a drama factory, I cannot, I don't have the stomach for Twitter. I'm not someone who wants to be watching my language all the time, and I have enough chaos in my own life. I don't need any more. I get that for some people that chaos might be interesting, but for me it's boring. I'm used to it. I have, I have better chaos right now. I have I have a better provider than Twitter. Oh, that thing just pulled away from me really quick. I'll have to do some serious driving if I want to catch up. Five seconds. That's how busted the rolling starts are.
No. This part cross ahead is yellow. I'm so jealous right now. I'm so jealous right now. I want that that sport cross. Can can we trade, man? Can we can we do a trade? Listen, I mean, if this thing is all next to new, just don't mind the the food stains on the seats and the and the trunk. Those those will clean, right? Those will wash off. Oh, you don't want to do the trade? That's okay. I'll just sit here alone and catch the other car and win the race in, in revenge and take the prize money for you from you all. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just put it this way. After Tumblr shut down that sort of content, everyone flooded to Twitter. There's this theory that after Tumblr shut down the the inappropriate content, everyone flooded to Twitter and the results are starting to be obvious now. Uh, yeah, that's about right. The one Argentinian... Uh, one dollar is like 500 Argentinian pesos. And that takes me to a whole rabbit hole, like... The, the exchange rates are regulated here, so the government has like a fixed rate for dollars in that, like you just, they just imagine you 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 get dollars in in you, into my bank account. I don't get those dollars. The government gives me pesos as right at a fixed rate, and the fixed rate is totally unreal. It, it, it that's not the real value of the dollar. Oh god, that thing pulled away from me, and I'm being so slow. I, can be, I have been totally absorbed by the weekend cruiser vibe of this, of this wagon. I have to brake really hard for the corner still. Like, you see, you see how it tilts when I slam the brakes, like the weight transfer? This thing is so soft, and I cannot keep up with a four-door. Um, the problem is we're going to become Venezuela real soon if this keep, keeps going. And I'm going to be stuck here. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck here. But then again, I know of a Venezuelan YouTuber who managed to survive, so... Maybe? I don't know. Nah, I just need a, pay, uh, a decent suspension setup. All that needs is eight, a decent suspension setup. I'm managing to catch up to it. Maybe I can do a throw before the end of the race. Ooh, a sleep stream. Sleep stream. Yeah, totally. Totally DRS enabled. Oh, golly. Oh, come on. Ooh, that was really close. <laughs> Oh man, I'm going to need new rakes after that. Yeah, you say, totally. When Runscape has a more valuable currency than your country, you know things are bad. People were playing, you know, those... those games that give you cryptocurrencies when that thing was a boom. And that was seen as a viable alternative to make extra money, so just think about it. Right, so we have a price car. What will it be? What will it be? Oh, right, I have to do another race. Um, oh, stupid me. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Well, Tikanji, that's an interesting idea. Uh, but the problem is, well, the problem I've been facing really is the fact that a most jobs want experience, and I do have experience. I did work a few years of my life already. 
but nothing is really now nothing is really on that the, those industries I'm looking for. But the main problem I'm having is really the fact that most people just don't call me despite my resume. And when they do, it's not really for a good position. It's it's really a challenge. And really, then you have, if I start working full time, which, yeah, I mean, if it's a good job, I will be fine. The best thing I can aspire for is like making $300 a month. And given where I live, I'll have, I have like a, an hour or so commute if I don't have to deal with any protests, which happen all the time and all of that. So it's a really, really complicated matter. I wanted to do something from my home, but that's going off the window because I don't don't have that opportunity so yeah I'm just looking whatever I can find if I can find something which works out in a way I'm going to be on. I always wanted to do media stuff I mean that's that's probably where I aim most of my efforts my first job I got in a my first real job outside retail I got in a real car magazine and I did that for two years before the lockdown uh, well well the lockdown happened and I worked from home and all of that but they promised me a position like where I could you know work in the magazine and write articles and stuff and when the time came they never gave me that position they were paying me next to nothing and I just said look man uh, are you going to do what you promised no so look I'm going to resign and I resigned. And I started my YouTube channel. <laughs> Literally, that's how it went. I have looked into transcription gigs, but the problem is um, I haven't found a reliable way to do it, and there's a difference between someone who can talk and someone who can do an accurate translation word for word. For word. I'm not that... I don't have such an advanced vocabulary I have found. And it's something that I have to work on because my vocabulary is really limited. I mean, it's not limited, but it is limited. Most translation jobs require you to translate medical stuff, instruction manuals, things which have a specific, specific terms and sometimes my English might be lacking on that. So, yeah. What I have tried to look into are jobs which re require me to to speak English because, well, just look at, listen to me right now. <laughs> uh, it's not because I'm arrogant or anything, but I, I think my English is, is all right. Most people here think they can speak English when in reality they can't. So I always try to look for jobs which require me to interact with people from other countries because it's uh, it's something which people need for commerce and the like and I'd be sending resumes to those, a lot of resumes to those but they want university graduates from a career so I'm not that <laughs> I'm not educated people I actually dropped out of college university I mean so yeah that's a fun story if in of itself why I drop out of university but well, might have to save it for another time. <laughs> it, 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 it's really dumb, but at the same time, it's really serious. But I'm going to start opening a kind of worms, which personally, I don't mind. I mean, I don't care. I'll say whatever I want to say. But uh, I might ruffle some feathers and yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, Theron. I don't think my English is that good. Put me put me with a clean with a clean word sheet and you'll start to see me repeat the same words. Like the latest script I wrote, I didn't have time to to go through it as much as I would like to. And it's full of me repeating the same terms over and over again and when I started to read it I realized oh god I have I cannot fix this because it's already too late. So yeah. Um, that's something I have to work on. I rely too much on the same term. But that happens to everyone, even if... no matter the language. So, that's something normal.
Now, sorry for teasing you all last time, it's time for the real prize car. What do I get? What will I get? Let's play the lottery. You thought loot boxes were bad? Try GT4 Randomizer. Oh! <laughs> Can I stop getting good prize cards? Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes! This thing is brilliant. I know where to use this thing. I know where to use this thing. Oh man, this is fun. This randomizer name is busted, man. This randomizer name is busted. You can, you cannot, you cannot prove me wrong. Um, no, there's not a Renault 5 event event in the manufacturer, there's a Clio event. But I can do the European Compact Cup with this thing. Just have to throw a bit of extra power on it. I'm not I'm not crazy enough to do rally events with this thing. We could, but I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> if we can. Also, I'm going to be annoying and take this chance to say there's 27 of us, but only 15 likes, so come on, man, just tap the, tap the like button. Yeah, t -Kanji D. the Renault 5 is actually a mid-engine car. It's not a four-wheel drive car. And that's kind of why it sucked at Group B. <laughs> Uh, Tiran, I'm from Argentina. Um, yeah, we're going to buy this, buy this, but keep it on the on the pack, so just for safety, safety nets, and this as well. Keep this on the pack. Hey, Ethan, hope you're doing well. Nice to have you here. Uh, this is a Gran Turismo 4 randomizer, but I have the HDUI mod, which you can type in, in the YouTube search, Gran Turismo 4 HDUI, and you'll find the details right there. So, yes. Yeah, you could probably join your Discord and find more people who play this game. Right, I went home. I don't. I don't have to go home. I'm. I'm in my home already. That's why I'm able to stream. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? How bad is this going to be? It should... Oh, there's a Clio V6 on top. Oh, ooh. This could be interesting. Ah, the rally version is so nice. It has, like, dar that dark blue and red livery. The maxi rally, I love that livery. Uh, no, the last game I actually played is Gran Turismo 4, because I've never been able to afford a PS3. <laughs> so, Gran Turismo 5 and Gran Turismo 6, let alone Sport and 7, are not on my radar, and they won't be for some time. Okay, hey, this thing moves. This thing moves. It understeers, but it moves. Oh, the RC-206 just went wide. Oh man, this is a... This is such a treat compared to the IS-300 wagon. Don't get me wrong the, wrong, the wagon was nice, but this thing moves. This is more, more of my type of car.
And yeah, this thing, I don't think it was. Well, it's the 1980s. More, most cars were scary compared to 2023 standards. Um, yeah, I actually been doing that challenge, Tiran, and depends. If you want to do our regional events, like I did, which you'll see tomorrow, you need over 10 cars. I'm not going to say the exact amount, because I don't remember, but you need over 10 cars. At least with the route I made. And I think my route is pretty, pretty efficient, because I managed to do something really, really clever. Oh, it's, oh, it's so far away. If I can't catch up to it, I'll reload the save and I'll draw a bit more power on it. Because it's seven seconds away. And I have two laps to catch up. This one and the following one. Yeah, it's a bit more than safety features, actually. Setups just weren't as good. People just went with whatever they had at hand. Uh, uh. Yeah, sorry, I'm going to try to throw more power into this thing. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, last time we had a bit of an issue with... With us using the upgrade menu from the from the races, so we're not going to use them, is it in this case? Oh, right, I cannot use the, the upgrade menu <laughs> from the from my garage, so I'm sorry. We're going to try this again. Please tell me that it works. Yes, it works. We probably had a weird issue with the Honda Fits. I'm sorry, okay? I... I'm someone who sees dirt and I want to go across the dirt. I, I like to cut corners. I... I, I can't... I don't want to be res restricted by the tarmac. Okay, okay, if we win this race, I'll take it to some dirt trucks. If we win this championship, I'll take it to, to some dirt trucks. We'll make a rally setup for this, for this thing. We'll have enough money to spare. <laughs> double overtake, double overtake. Only in this channel. <laughs> There you go, just tap the brakes to rotate and put the weight on the front. Now we're talking. The S3 up ahead is actually a competitive car, but it's an S3, so it's going to understeer. <sighs> it breaks too hard for the following corner, and it may makes me lose a lot of time. Ah, man. This is the sort of problems that you get when dealing with traffic. You know what's funny, Yun? My my entire my entire area, the tarmac is so broken that it could it looks like a rally stage. You could totally run a run a rally stage in my area because the tarmac is a disaster. And it's also full of these things called speed bumps. <laughs> so given how there's a speed bump every fifty or a hundred meters, you have a lot of jumps. <laughs> So yes, totally a rally area. Totally a rally area. You don't need dirt to to have a rally experience. Oh god, please break. Oh god. That was so close. I'm going to cut this corner a bit. See, the problem is, I'm not slower, I'm not 
slower than the V6, but it has a rolling start and it gets so such a big advantage. And the race is too short to catch up to it. Now we admit I'm driving awful, but come on, it's a lot of advantage. <laughs> uh, we call them Lomo, Loma de Burro here, uh, Yun, not Lomo de Toros. No. There you go. Four seconds. I'm not going to get four seconds in one lap. Forget about it. Yes, I could qualify. If I don't win, we'll, we'll probably... We'll probably try to... We'll probably come back to this one later and do the entire championship and qualify and or just come back with a bit more power because it's a championship setup but still it's good to know that I am in a bad position against these P6 Clio yeah nitrous nitro oh Jesus Oh, you have... Yeah, it's good to clean your room, Blend. That's a good thing to do. Yes, uh, I appreciate that you keep me as background noise. I'm not... I don't think I'm that interesting, but... Go on, clean your room. That's important. Nope, I'm not getting first place. I'm going to be stuck in no man's land. I'm going to get a, a second place random second place because the third car is too far away and the first car is too far away. But at least it's a podium, like we're getting points. This is a championship, we'll play the long game. We'll totally play the long game. Oh, so I admit I drive worse while streaming because A, I have to drive and talk and B, I don't have my headsets on, so I can't hear the engine, and I, I always miss shifts. That's why I always miss in shifts. Because I, my cue is the engine sound, I don't use anything else to to rely on, on when to shift. <laughs> Six seconds! So far behind. Oh god, it gets a 10 point advantage and I have six. I forgot how broken first place was. At least we get a few coins for doing our... Yeah, it, it's funny. Ah, uh, you need a different release for the randomizer, so... You should keep that in mind. We're qualifying, boys. We are qualifying. It's Opera Paris, everyone's favorite track. You all want to see me take this thing to dirt tracks? This is pretty close to a dirt track, it's full of bumps. All I need is a cold driver shouting where, uh, instructions for the next corner and rally experience. Just surrounded by buildings. Like most things are nowadays. <laughs> Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Cities are nice, I mean, it depends on what you want. Personally, I would like to live in a smaller city, but uh, you have to live in, in a pretty central place here, otherwise you are forgotten and nobody comes comes near you and you don't have anything to do. You have bad internet, you have, you have poor access to everything, so if you don't live in the city here, you're kind of in a bad spot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
no Samir, just me, no Samir. The only one who's going to break the car is me because it's mine, I want this car and I'm going to trash it as much as I can to get that first place. Which is rightfully mine because I said so. Oh, nice drift. Alright. Let's get out of all of the bad driving out of the way because I need to do a clean lap now. That was a bit slow, but fine. It doesn't even have to be first place. It has to be close enough so I'm in on striking distance of the clear. So second place is fine. I like to believe second place is fine. I will totally love to have a uh, shorter gear ratios for this track. But you know. How it goes. Oh, bum wall. Yeah, I'm exactly the sort of person that likes to do things alone. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get second place. I don't know. I work better alone. So having someone telling me how to do things at the same time, it's not going to be a good experience for them. Let me tell you that much. Unless I ask, like, hey, how do I do this? And I, then I listen, because if I ask, it means I can figure it by myself. So I need help, and I'll totally listen to that person, because they're wasting their time on me. So I'll totally shut up and listen, but... If I didn't ask for help, then it's probably better to leave me alone to it. Oh, God, five seconds! Yep, that's good. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. No. Ah, exit. Save, and off we go. Ah, you hate to see it, Cleo V6. They are both in the back there, sweating, struggling. Ah, don't worry, Zikanji. If you have ideas for setups, you can always let me know. I don't mind that. Throw it in. Off we go. Oh, hey, we have a Cleo V6 in the back already. Watch this fucker bump. Oh, good. Good. I was sure it will bump into me because the AI has this awful habit of bumping into you in these braking zones, especially in tight tracks like Opera Paris and Hong Kong. I had a seriously bad time in Hong Kong when in my World Championship run for the latest video, which will be up tomorrow. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop promoting myself. <laughs> but I had a really bad time on that race. Um... Yeah, I had a lot of incidents with the AI br tapping me at the worst time possible and forcing me into a spin. Why? Because they just crash into you at the braking zones. So I'm going kind of paranoid now. Whenever I see an AI car close to me in these tracks, I start to look behind me. Oh, that was a nice throw. <laughs> he didn't have to brake. Throw it in. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, um, usually I'm not the best person who... I mean, I just throw similar setups to everything, as you will have seen through my streams. And given I'm streaming and I don't think people want to see me tinker with a car for hours, uh, usually it's good to have a few pointers here and there. I like to believe I know how to correct most issues in a car, like create a car that I like to drive, equal no understeer and 
leaning towards oversteer a lot of the time. I'm better at controlling oversteer than understeer, personally. So, yeah, I mean, it's always good to have someone who knows a bit more than you. I'm totally not the smartest person in the room. If I was, I will be... I will have made my fortune already and have bought one of these things in reality. <laughs> Qualifying is so good. I love qualifying. I love setting qualifying laps which the AI can match. I mean, really, see? See, that's my point. It, it, it proves my point that rolling starts are broken in this game. Because it cannot be that I'm seven seconds behind. I cannot, can, I cannot catch up. In theory, I should be struggling to maintain this lead with no. I know it's a different track and all, but seven seconds is an insane advantage. And if someone can pull away seven, some can pull away seven seconds from you, that totally means they are more powerful than you, no matter the track. So, come on, really? I, I totally. Ha oh god. Great. And yes, I'll stop ranting about rolling starts. I promise you. All. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you have another incident with rolling starts and that starts the downward spiral yet again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I like to learn things every day. I'm always trying to learn new things about cars, about things that matter to me and just shape something, shape my knowledge as I go. Uh, I like to... I, I, I'm not the sort of person who likes to, you know, do nothing. Doing nothing makes me really nervous. So I'm always trying to find something to do. Even if it's listening to someone. Even if it's listening to someone who knows more than me about the subject that I care about. That's why I'm kind of addicted to YouTube and I'm always watching things, listening things. <laughs> but I like to believe everyone has a bit of that if they are here. Unless you all just like to watch racing games and just have good moments. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, reverse. Yes, go, 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 go. I, I forgot. I changed the reverse, the reverse controls for my gears. <laughs> still, still, we're good. We're good. I, I should have braked at that point. That was my fault. I made a mistake while breaking. Should have braked earlier. Totally. That's on me, not on the Renault. It's behaving really fine, actually. Yeah, downward spiral mentioned, yay. <laughs> totally. I I said I, I I said I wouldn't be breaking the car, but it's my car. Even if even if given it's this bright sh shade of red some of you could say our car and totally destroy my argument <laughs> no no totally we don't do that in this chat <laughs> I, I had to I, I had, I've been cooking that one for some time with this car okay I had to I had to <laughs> well, Tika and Jimmy, I don't know that much. I know a few things, but I don't know that much. For someone without a driving license, uh, I like to say I know enough, but I could totally know more. Totally. Easy now. Don't throw it away. I, I, I've been into cars since I have memory. That's just... I've been into cars since I have memory, so... <laughs> really, when I... I started reading at a really early age, and... 
most people read fictional stuff, you know, stuff for kids, and I will beg my parents to buy me car magazines, and I will s start reading those. Rather than tales and all of those things. Then I discovered video games. And, you know, the rest is history. When I when I learned about video games, video games first of all taught me a language which I'm speaking right now, and second of all, they just made my interest in cars so much bigger because, given that most cars that I liked I will see through magazines and pictures, having a game which allows you to drive them was really really special to me, and things evolved from there. It's one of those things, which they go hand in hand. I remember, like, when I had my first first internet connection, this was the early 2000s, I will used to browse car sites as much as I could. And of course, the early 2000s, I mean, today it's really easy to find information compared to back then. You will have some obscure pictures from weird cars and there wouldn't be much information about them. But you will have pictures and I, I always remember that I loved watching out cars that I didn't know about and just trying to find as much information as I could about them. <laughs> That's usually how I spent my afternoons after school if I wasn't playing racing games. Never been the type who likes to go outside, never been the type who cares much about socializing, but I totally care about cars. And don't get me wrong, I totally like talking to people. I mean, you, you can't you can make me shut up even if, even if my life depends on it. Even if my viewership depends on my silence, you wouldn't be able to make me shut up. But, uh, you know, they, it just wasn't a priority for me as things started to change in my life. So I just st stayed around and learned about cars. <laughs> it got me a job, like my, my first year, serious job. It was thanks to all I knew about cars, and it allowed me to buy this PC and survive through the lockdowns, which were near near infinite around here, so... I like to say it's been a good investment. Uh, I watched them a bit over Tikanji, but I want to watch them with time, like, I've been busy, so... I'm going to sit probably tomorrow and start looking at them and writing down details because uh, that's how I like to do things. So I'm going to start sitting and writing a few things down and then I'll send you thoughts in a few bullet points just to make it easier for you. But I'm starting to have an idea. I mean, I, I kind of have an idea of what I want to see, so yeah. You'll find out tomorrow when I send you those bullet points. One second already. <laughs> I mean, it's just funny. Like, in theory, I shouldn't be so fast, uh, but I am. So, yeah. See, rolling starts are broken, and I forgot because Trial Mountain is a still start. Like, it doesn't have a rolling start, and yet here I am qualifying. What the hell? Turn in, there you go. Just a bit of corner cutting. Eh? Hey, for seconds. Yeah, that's the one which got my attention the most as well. The two forty said one. So far, you know, for all of those who are listening and don't know, T Kanji here is running a competition on Gran Turismo 2 and there are some interesting prizes, so you should totally visit his channel and see the details about that competition. 
So, you know, you might have a chance to win a special prize. Yes, it says practice, but in reality it's qualifying mode. You have to do a first lap, which it doesn't count, and then they fall after the first lap they all count as qualifying laps. And the AI also qualifies, so you can use it to shift the, the, lineup, the lineup order in your advantage. But usually that doesn't work, because you want to keep the, first, the fastest car away from first place. And given Gran Turismo 4 has the habit of putting the fastest car at the start of their lineup, they'll qualify second if you don't qualify first, pretty much. They qualify first if you don't qualify, yeah, pretty much. Uh, sorry, I got mixed there. You know what I mean. What I mean is they'll... Uh, you, won't, you can't use it to rotate the lineup orders as much as you will like. But you can use it to sneak into first place. Which I'm totally going to do for the rest of the races because I lost <laughs> and I'm a really competitive person I totally don't like losing <laughs> off you go Renault 5 don't touch the sand I'll take you to do the races later okay just hold it a bit more for me I know you don't like tarmac you understand Ooh, that corner, the corner wasn't nice. Just play along with me now. We're halfway done with this championship, alright? Ooh, that one was really bad. You have to keep in mind that this thing has the engine in the back. I cannot just throw it away like that. I have to be careful with my inputs. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's usually competitive. I'm not the person, I, I, I'm not the petty person, really. I see competition as a chance to improve myself, so that's why I always like to do well. But if I, if I do bad, I, I, don't, I don't start thinking, oh, it's, this should be different and everyone should be given a, a, a participation award and all of that. No, uh, if I do bad, I'll just go back to the drawing board and try again. Because the only thing that can go wrong is me. Yes, of course, there's other factors with pl which play into it, but the first thing that I can fix is myself. Uh, no, only base to H uh, into HP. You have a, like, 380 horsepower limit? 380, I think. No, <laughs> it's fine. You, you, you're allowed to make jokes. I like that. But at the same time, it's a good question because I like I like to believe it's nice to get to know each other, all of us, just a little bit more. Final lap. Now I'm not going to screw this corner. Watch me say screw this corner. Oh, nice. <laughs> Saved it. Oh, hey, Pleo V6. Nice to see you taking advantage of the opportunity of my mistakes, but that's not going to last long, you know. Going to have, you, you'll have to push me up the, on this uphill section. sounds interesting but you have to win the race <laughs> so keep that in mind oh yeah and we went past to thousand subscribers which is crazy to me a few weeks ago I was stuck at like a thousand three hundred and I thought this channel was done for but I guess there people see something good in this channel and that makes me happy it makes me happy to think that people see something good in this channel, that they see something valuable enough to subscribe and, hell, even come watch me stream, like, that's, that's crazy to me. A few weeks ago I started streaming and I barely had 
it was for myself and now I'm having like 28 people watching this Gran Turismo 4 randomizer with me all on this randomized adventure that I have been I have been given <laughs> yeah let's just go with that funny you say but I'm fighting with this Renault P6 and it's the silver one it's the old one the new one is the red one whoa whoa oh god Oh, that wasn't good. Oh god, that was such a bad idea. I got caught in the bump and I lost control of the car. Oh god damn it, man. Ah, this is the sort of things you don't do with a stock setup because this kind of thing happens. You don't know how the car will re react. Oh man. How many points? Oh, look! All of us have 20 points! Huh. We're tied for the championship now. Yeah, totally a brain that moment. Totally, totally, totally. Um, It's the East Course. Ah, whatever, we're tied on points. Oh, thanks, Invisible Pit Crew. Thanks for lifting my car with your psychic powers. See, this is the sort of experience that I provide, just throwing everything away in the last second. And now you, uh, now, now you, now you know why I don't have jobs or anything like it. <laughs> Now it all started to make sense, didn't it? Three-way tie Renault, yeah, this, this is like an F1 championship of the 1990s where Renault was actually worth something. The Audis are tight? I didn't see that. Still, like, you have an A3 and an S3, imagine being t having an S3 and being tied with a pedestrian A3. But truth be told, it's the B6 A3, so mm, that might be uh, even competition. The A3 with a B6 is super heavy, though. It's like a ton and a half. Super heavy car. Oh, now I have to go. I'm not going to go back and do those two races unless I need the money. Which I will like the money, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want the money. This is why that's why I did this race, because the prices are this per race, like 12k per race is better than they have been doing for the last few races. So I kind of want my money. This is an European Championship and we go all the way to Suzuka. Not the entire course, but this first section of Suzuka. That is what you call disposable income. <laughs> that is what you call this. Alright, so... Off we go. No! Oh god, I make the same mistake all the time. Yeah, the audios are tight. Oof, that S3 starts on the last place. Right, let's play a little game now. Start saying which positions will everyone finish in this championship. Including myself, because, you know, I'm part of this championship as well. God, no. Ah. This doesn't look good for me, does it? Hey, really, what's up? Hope you're doing well. We are here in a three way fight with two Renault Clio V6s because I had an awful accident last race. 
they went straight into a wall and I made an embarrassment of, of my, out of myself. Quality content indeed. <laughs> so, oh. Fine, weave. Weave around. Works for me. Ooh, we're going to slipstream a little bit of this thing. I have really bad brakes, so I cannot outbreak my opponents. That's something to keep in mind. Oh! <laughs> I, I saw you! I saw you r rotating around, losing control. You also have problems with this thing, with this mid-engine mid layout. Oof. Thanks for the bump, by the way. I appreciate it. In and out of the curves. Okay. So far, we we have been getting crazy price cars. I am starting to think my my name might be blessed by the randomizer. I am starting to believe in my I am starting to believe in my own delusion that my name might be blessed by the randomizer. Yeah, I hate to, uh, yeah. YouTube comments can be funky at times. Funny enough, the first comment which T Kanji left in my channel was deleted by YouTube and I had to answer answer it through Discord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should totally run with a randomizer. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and I think it's a unique experience. It, it's not only because it's a novelty. But I think it's a really different way of playing the game because you can do the usual routes that you take to grind money and hop into the fastest cars. There's no Capri Rally here to grind, there's nothing until you discover it. So it's a really different way of playing and yeah, once you get into that mindset, it's really addictive. Oh, don't worry. At least I managed to read it through. This is funny. Like I found it through my email. I had to find it through my email notifications for comments. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know something right there. I I had to read the entire thing through my email notifications because I had the screenshot of the message and I read the entire thing. And uh, that was funny. But yeah, that was really funny. I cannot run RP, RPC 3S, uh, RPC, RPC S3, the PS3 emulator, I, I struggle with those. <laughs> I cannot say the name. <laughs> I'm too focused on driving this thing to the finish line. So yeah, it, it, I, my PC cannot handle it. My PC is alright, but not that good. So yeah, not, not... No, no PS3 games in the channel, sorry. We do not have enough budget for PS3 games in the channel. I got the email notifi notification and the YouTube notification, but whenever I clicked on it, it, there it will lead me to nothing. Also, taking a bit of a sip of water, give me a second.
Oh, the Radian, the Radian drama. Yeah. I, I hope the AMD drivers get better. I know they have been getting a bit better, but really, they have to get much better. Final race of the championship. And I'm totally qualifying for a special stage fight. Hey, we're going down. And up we go and we start our lap. Yeah. This is a long pit lane. Really long pit lane. It's a shame there's no endurance race on Gran Turismo 4 in this track. It's a classic track and given there's no special stage 11, they should have made an endurance in this track. But you know, we have three 24 hours races instead. Because what else says realism than frying your console? <laughs> That's realistic. Oh, I have a yellow light. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, pretty much, that's tragic. And I was an AMD user as well for some time, but I had I had something even worse. I had like an uh, entry-level APU way back then. Like it wasn't even a Ryzen; it was before the Ryzen series. So I I had experience with AMD. I totally, I, I totally avoided an AMD GPU. I would have liked it, but I want Nvidia for this because I, uh, I, I, n I never had any single problems with it. This PC first had, first had a 1650 and now it has a 1660, which is totally an upgrade because I can run stuff at 180 without a sweat. Uh, I think my a AMD APU was like 70. 50k or something like that. I bought that PC when I finished school. Like I was 17, I finished school and I, I, I needed a PC and I had money saved and I was helped by my parents just a little bit to fund a, an entry level PC for myself. I should have, have done more with that PC, but instead I just played GTA 5 and wasted time which I shouldn't have wasted. I'm, I'm getting a bit philosophical here and <laughs> personal about my life, but you know. Memories. Yeah, I can understand that's the budget issue, like nothing's budget. What is budget and what really isn't budget? Then? It's a really thin line and I don't think it's a line which you can set, set to as a whole, like you can put that line on a group, everyone has a different budget and what's budget for one might not be budget for me, for example, you know? So the term budget for me, it's always, it's always a bit, you know, I don't like it, I don't like using it. At the same time, it's like, what's expensive, you know? It, it's difficult to define what is expensive for some people at the same time because some people just can't afford it and that's okay. So that's another thing. Oh, hey Karma. Yeah, I'm playing this on a PS2 emulator. This is why you got, I have fancy graphics and save states. <laughs> Inflation so bad. Yeah, that's you know what's funny. I am starting to see all these inflation memes on the English speaking sphere and I find it funny because I live my entire life with it with inflation and it's like first day at the job is like it's is this is this your first your first time? 
There's nothing which makes life more interesting than waking up to a new financial drama and seeing how your currency devaluated another 30%. And you think and if you think I'm joking, I'm not. That has happened before. But yeah, sometimes I mean Sometimes you, whenever you're building a PC or something, personally, I'll say it's best to have a some like have a plan in mind. I know this sounds silly, but what do you want to do with the PC and just build something that can get in the ballpark? Don't target the specific games because, like, when I built this PC, I wasn't targeting specific games. I was targeting a specific. Well, I wanted to run games at a decent enough quality, a lot of games, and be able to record them slash stream at the same time. But at the same time, I knew I could do some compromises. Why? Because my internet connection, while well, it's alright, and despite the issues that came me at the start of the stream, it's decent, but it's not, you know, lightning quick. It's quick for the Latin American standards, <laughs> let's just put it that way. So, well, I can upload videos at 180 without issues, but 140, 140p, 144p, I don't know, the higher quality is impossible. It's going to take too long. So, no. And yes, I struggle. I can talk, but I struggle with numbers so much in English. I struggle so much with numbers, probably because I haven't had the, the need to use them. But I struggle with numbers a lot, so I have to work on that. Whenever I have to say numbers, I struggle. Yeah, technology does get better. And uh, the emulator for PS PlayStation 2 is PCSX2. It's the go-to. But for all the good stuff, I'm using the developer version, not the final stable one, the 1.60. That's kind of outdated now, and you have to go into the dev builds to get all the good stuff. Mostly Vulcan drivers, which, Vulcan as a renderer, which is so good. Because it removed uh, all of the micro stutters that I will get in Gran Turismo 4. Gone. I, my Gran Turismo 4 experience has, has improved so much since I've been using Vulcan. It's totally worth it just for that. So, yes. Funny you say that I have optic I have fiber for a few years now, which is the company I'm using. And in many areas pretty solid. But yes, it is a new thing. I mean I remember I had DSL cable like phone cable internet for a while. And by the end the thing just didn't work at all. And my provider star was the first one to get fiber in the area. And when they did get fiber, it was a, a totally different, totally different experience. I'm not joking when I say that when I had like DSL, like phone cable internet, uh, I wouldn't be able to watch a stream in 360, um, 480p. Not at times, not even 360p. YouTube videos were fine, but live streams. Forget about it, live streams just wouldn't work on DSL connections. I think it's DSL. I will say DSL because I, I, I might be mixing the characters. Yeah, it's more of a game to game thing, emulation. Especially in PS2, like, it's good, but it ha it's. It, 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 it will keep improving, like PS2 emulation. Also, a lot of things depend on the hardware, like, I had a friend who I just wanted him to play Gran Turismo 2. We got the station, we got the game, and for some reason it will be stuck at 40 FPS. And it wouldn't go past that, even with the proper codes and everything. We, wouldn't, we weren't able to figure out what was wrong with it, and he never seen anything like it. And he tried on a different PC, and then the same problem happened, so... Uh, we never figured it out. 
Which is a shame, I really wanted him to play Gran Turismo 2. <laughs> I wanted to get someone else into the into the addiction train. Right. That's time to wrap this championship. Um oh look, the Audi A3 came above the S3. So it's time. It's time for a price car. What will I get? Will it be the first awful car of the run? Or will it be... Uh, will, will we keep our streak of decent cars? Drum roll, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't like the color. But come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this thing is cracked, man. <laughs> oh, God. This thing is cracked. I think we can probably use this thing for the American Championship. But I promise you all we will do rally races. So we're going to get a bit dirty now. Yeah, Supercar Festival and the American event with a wing straight out of eBay should be doable. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This thing is strong. My, my, my randomizer name is totally busted so far. Oh, look, look at this Renault 5. This is so nice. Just look at this picture. Right. Dirt tires. Ooh, they're expensive now. So expensive. I'm going to regret buying those dirt tires. Am I right? Um, no. I want to spend... I, I want a gearbox. Because it's rally. Um... Yeah, I'm going to buy drive train, up, drive train upgrades. Yeah, this thing, I'm going to use this thing for a few races if it's good. But if I'm going to do rally races, I'm going full, full drive train up, upgrades. Yeah, we're, we're going to use this thing. We're, we're going to use this thing for another race, so... Yes. It's an investment, I know, but, you know, this might be too much. <laughs> All right, we got the chip. Do we have this grip? Yeah, we do. I already have this. Ah, oh, might as well. Might as well. I have to see that the, the special car events hall. No, Grand Canyon I refuse. Swiss Alps. So Swiss Alps is fine. Yeah, I, I got a black CO6. Yeah, totally a cop car CO6. I wanted I of course I always wanted in better colors. I, I've been talking about col car colors for most of the stream already. Uh, we're going to go with really short gears. Because it's a rally race. Oh god. I forgot I'm in the... I forgot I'm in the... I should have done the start button thing in the garage. Oh well. Never mind. Mm. 
this should be fine, I hope. All right, DLSD. Uh, we're going to do it a bit lower here. Um, yeah, that should be okay. And off we go. Oh, challenge. I hope this thing is competitive. <laughs> well, off the line we are. We have better acceleration off the line, which is good. These gears may be a bit too short, but you know, who cares? It's not uh, this 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 track requires a bit of speed, but it'll be fine. And I'm going to stay really far away from the walls because I think penalties are longer here in this game mode thanks to the online online base that they use for this mod. So yes. If I if I make contact it's going to be let's just put it Easy now. Five seconds already. This is good. This is really good. <laughs> We're going sideways pretty much. <laughs> I'm starting to like this car even more. It likes to go sideways. All the time. It wants to go in a straight line anyway. Seems the setup was actually alright. If you are wondering, I'm also planning to use this thing for the French car championship. Because it's, I already have a French car, so why not use it? Ooh. I'm going to top the wall. Easy now. Easy now. <laughs> yeah, see th this thing. This thing totally is funny because it was actually really good on tarmac stages at the group in the group D the B days, not the group B. And it, it had it, in dirt it wasn't as good because you know rear wheel drive but in tarmac it was one of the best cars and that's where where it got a few its best performances if i recall i'm going to say i'm glad because if i had bought if i had got say the 205 i will have needed the the torque split for the suspension oh no ah this is this is what what happens without all wheels, right? <laughs> but I will have needed the torque split, and that will have costed me around 10k, and I don't want to lose my money. So you're good, Ronald Five Turbo. I, I'm glad we got a Ronald Five Turbo instead. Ooh, that was close to the wall. And off we go. It, it likes to jump, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that much. It likes to jump. Ooh, I have to be careful with my throttle inputs because too much throttle and I will go sideways. Your dirt physics are kind of a mix of bad, but eh, you know, it's fine, it's serviceable. I know, I know, I have a habit of getting my hopes high. I always do, I know I have to work on that, but... One step at a time. Dirt is fine, the snow isn't. Yes, exactly, the snow is bad. Awful. I don't want. I don't look forward to the snow races. Stay, stay. 
Oh yeah, we're going to get a car after this race. Ooh, we have an impressive here. This could be interesting. Oh god! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Interesting, interesting is an understatement. Ooh. Of course, it's the reverse variant. I always suffer with reverse variant. Oh, oh, god damn it, the all wheel drive. He just pulls away with all-wheel drive. I, I, this is personal now. I want to win this race. I, I'm not. I'm not going to let it, let it walk away like that. Who does he think he is? Like just dropping in in this composition with all their cars. That car is a tier above, like, normal is the tier for those Impresses and Evos and all of that. Not easy. And he's just pulling away from me. Ow. God, I really wish I bought that stage run turbo kit right now. Remember when I said it will be too much power? Ah, uh, those were those were the days. Now I'm totally regretting it. Because I can somewhat keep up with it, but it pulls away. It has more power than me. Like 50 horsepower more than me. No, this isn't part of the randomizer. This is part of the actual game. This this opponent can be part of the lineup. But it, it's rare, I've never seen one of those. I, I seen an, e an Evo 3, an Evo 2, I think. But uh, an early impress, I don't remember. Ah, uh, I'm going so wide. Yeah. We'll give this another shot. We'll give this another shot. Because I really want to see if it's doable. It has to be doable. Did I have all the power upgrades on my car? Yes, I had everything. Ah. Um, maybe we want to, yeah, lower this a little bit. Uh, um, increase, uh, make the gears just a tad shorter. Suspension's fine. Here goes nothing. Turning earlier, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm not good at rally, like, I'm not good at rally in this game, so don't expect miracles. Oh, oh, n now, now you're ju now you're... Just... <sighs> so I ha so he just turns into me. He just turns into me and, and, and takes advantage of the penalty system. I have to I have to let it go first. How many advantages do you want? You already have the better car. Ah. Yeah, great. Excellent. Just slam the throttle. Nothing bad will happen. He's just having a laugh, totally! <laughs> he totally squeezed me into that wall. I really wish I bought that turbo. 
the, the stage one tour with God. The stage one tour is totally laughing at the store right now. He's totally having a laugh. And, and we're here like starting on second gear because we'll spin. Hey, good. Good, do your thing, weave around. Just let me get first and then I'll start blocking. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. I have to hold the inside for the next turn. Break really hard. Break really hard. Force it to... There we go. Hey, hey, hey. We're, we're going places. We're going places. Okay, now it's time to block. I had to block for two laps in a track which isn't my strong suit and it's really wide. And I also am kicking a dust storm and I can't see what's behind of me. So... Yes, this is going to be fun. There's no damage feature in Grand Turismo. Easy. Easy done. Throw it away. God, I would love to have a rear view mirror right now. But I don't. Oh god, he's right there. Ah! <laughs> I, I hate this game. I, I hate this game so much. I... Rally races in this game are the reason why I don't have a 100% completion in Gran Turismo 4. The car just appears out of nowhere, we go side by side and I, I get the penalty. Oh, Jesus Christ. We were so close, we were so close. But it's doable. Really, I'm going to start doing this until it, I'm going to try to, to do this until it gets boring. Yes, first person has a review mirror, I know, but I don't like first person because I like to see what the cars do. I know, I, I, I know, I should compromise, but I'm not going to compromise. I like to see what the car is doing in dirt races. <laughs> you sick bastard. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start laughing because I'm going to take this as a joke because otherwise I'm going to go insane. Yes, of course he turned it into me. What do you think? What do you expect? He's going to use every single trick on the book to to, to ruin my life. Safe stay at the start. Uh, do you do you really want to sit here and? Well, yeah, you know what? You know what? Fine, fine. We're going to do this, Impressa. We're going to do this. Is this because I didn't decided to use you and I used a legacy instead for my for my video that releases tomorrow? And I said the legacy is better than you. Is this is this your vengeance or something? Is this the reason why you're doing this? Because I still I, I will die by that by that statement. The legacy is better than you. Cry about it. God, that corner, that corner is really, really bad. Yeah, we, I can play that game too. All you have to do is go full lock to one side and I go to the other. We, I can play that game too, SDI. Don't think you're special because you're not. And you're even white. Like, can you, you could have at least pick, picked a good color, but no. 
Well, I mean, I'll, I'll give you that. White is better than silver, so you have a point, but come on. Really? At least you could have been a blue in Presa. He, took, he takes the inside. Yeah, that's good. I'll give you that. That was a good overtake. I'll give you that in Preta. That's a good overtake. <laughs> oh, God. I totally lost my mind, I know. But what do you expect? I want to win this race. I have something to prove. And the fact that... It, look, if I if I wasn't playing this live, it would be the same. I will, be, I will have the same reactions and the same attitude because that's how I do things. And you know what? Fine. We, I can cheat as well. See? Oh god, that's a good jump. Oh man, this is why he's going to gain on me. Yeah, he's side by side. I'm going to close the inside if I can. And break a little bit harder. Yeah, save state in the middle of the race. Like, this guy has pushed me off so many times. I, ooh, I can cheat as well. You know what? I can cheat as well. <laughs> yeah, he got the better line. I'll give you that much. I'll totally give you that much. He got the better line. Right on his tail, though. You have to be careful because he just dives into and oh, oh, he he makes a mistake on that final turn. That's good to know. You know what? Yes, this is how I'm going to play this. So me, this is how I'm going to. This I will die on this hill. No, you're not getting past. All I have to do is a good final lap. Focus, don't throw this away now. Don't throw this away. Don't, don't you dare to throw this away. We already had one embarrassing moment on the stream when I went off in Trial Mountain. We don't want another one. Oh god! Ah, that was so close. Still, I always make a mistake on that turn. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, as I say, and it just slides over. I know we should take tighter lines, but I can't. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I'm not good enough to do it. No. This is bad. Break really, really, really hard. Go inside, inside, go. Don't go wide. Just. Oh, you went wide. Damn it. <laughs> okay, we're side by side. Easy. Easy now. I, I, I get the inside. I can block him. I can block him. Good. Good. Where is he? There he is. Now I need to avoid going wide in this turn because this is where I lose a lot of time. Oh, hey, thanks for the tap. I'm just reading his lines and going to block as hard as I can. That's, that, that's my strategy, just block. Be a roadblock in his way, I'm just going to do that. 
Yeah, you go through here, so I'm just going to go through here as well. Oh, thanks for throwing all the dirt on my face, Esti. I appreciate it. I appreciate being blind. Do, do, I, do I get it? Do I get it? Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Who's better now? Huh? You hate to see it, Arthur. You have to see it, Nisa. Uh, Nisa, <laughs> fucking hell! I said Nisa. Why? Why did I say Nisa? Subaru, you hate to see it, Subaru. That's what I'm talking about. This race broke me. You, you can see that this race, this race broke me. And we get a car for all of our efforts. I'm going to save that replay because that was. Oh, I can't. I can't save the replay. Yes, I can save the replay. Hey! I totally want to keep this. Uh, event race, yes. Talk. I don't care about the name. I know what it is. Bye now. <laughs> Come on, I mean, I, I use saved states. Yeah, I totally own up to that. I totally own up to that. I use saved states. Whoa, Jesus fucking <laughs> Well, I did have a lot to do to do a lot of drifting to get this thing. So yeah, I guess. Good. Totally. Also we had to beat an impreza, so works out. My god. My god. Uh, also, do you realize this keeps the streak of outright busted cars? Because this thing is really good. You don't know how good this thing is in reality. Yeah, this run, this run is a breathing meme, man. This this run is this run is such a such a bloody meme. It's. I think this is the most absurd Gran Turismo run I have ever experienced, and I'm not not kidding. Like this thing, this thing is ridiculous. Oh, the spring rates aren't too good. Did I disable driving aids on this thing? Wait a second. Wait a second. No, I knew. I knew I was missing something. I don't know what's coming next, but I want to use this thing, so we're going to use this thing. I don't know what, what to expect out of this run, because the thing is, I'm getting a lot of decent cars which allow me to try different events. I know, I know I'm overpowered, give me a break now. I deserve a break after that race with the with Impresa. Ooh. 
I got the inside now. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. I, I let him pass because it, it was going to be contact and I don't want to risk the penalty. This thing suffers from dropping out on the RPM range. I have to keep that in mind. I don't know what comes next, but I'm sure it's good. Because I'm confident I have the best randomizer out of them all. I refuse. I refuse to believe otherwise. This isn't, this isn't an argument. This is a matter of beliefs now. And I refuse to believe I have, there's a worse randomizer than mine. Because I already have... A, a two race cars, like a drift car and a, and a touring car. A Japanese touring car. I have two Nissan GTRs, like two R32s, one more powerful than the other because one is a stock and another is a Nismo. I got a Renault 5. I got this thing. I got decent compact cars. I got a, another race car, which is like the MMR race car, which is a Micra, but it, it's really good as well. So I refuse to believe there's a worse to randomize than me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. And I also got a, like a Corvette C5, like a C06. So... Yeah, I know I got lucky, but this is too much luck. The, the cars I get, like, they open so many doors. Because with, with the C5 I can do all the... All the American events, literally all the American events minus the Muscle Car Cup, which is limited to cars before 1980s. And then I can bolt a, and I can do the Supercar Championship with that thing. I can bolt a wing and do the American Championship because I did it with a Viper. It should be doable with the with the with the C5 Corvette. So the American events done. And Japanese cars, I have something for most Japanese events. I need something for the 70s, pretty sure. Uh, so that's mostly done. Uh, the the beginner hall, yeah, I might, might struggle with the beginner hall a little bit. But I have some... The only thing I need is a truck, uh, and that's all. And I have a lot of doors open in the means of manufacturer events as well. So, yeah, I'm starting to believe in this run. This run has me really, really interested and really excited for the future. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 we deliver pizzas now. Who wants to eat tofu anyway? Tofu sucks, it's boring. I, I will never try tofu. In my, I never ate tofu and I don't think I'm going to try tofu. But th there's other things which are healthy and are really tasty. You can eat vegetables and they'll be tasty and you'll be fine as well. And you don't have to eat tofu. Yeah, everyone needs a truck. O o out of all the runs I've seen, most people have a struggle with the truck. Now, I did make a rule that I could buy cars if I end up being softlock. Like, if I can do any more events, I can buy the truck, but I will try to avoid that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, I, I'm being really lucky, I'm being blessed by the, by the god or goddess of luck, I don't know who you are, but thank you, thank you for everything that you have been giving me the last week, this run, everything else, the, everything is going just fine, and yeah, I'm, I, that's all I can say. Thank you. Let's just make sure we we don't run out of luck. Actually, I could use a they had to meet it because there's a they had to meet it manufacturer event. So yeah, it's a meme, but it's a useful meme. You didn't expect that one when you said that, didn't you?
Now you know something new. <laughs> Glad to be of service. Oh, another Lancia Delta. This one is red, though. I mean, the randomizer is based on username, like you just type a name when the game starts, and the random prices are based off your name. There's probably a name which gets an escudo somewhere. Where? Don't, we don't know, but we, there's probably a name. And if I get a penalty, you get stuck there. I don't care. I can play that game too, you know. So yes, there's probably a randomizer name which has a scudo somewhere. Is it mine? We don't know. But there's a name which gets a scudo somewhere. Probably, there's a chance. Pretty much, this is a game of luck. I don't like the odds in games of luck, I admit. I'm not a person of luck, I'm more of a person of consistency, but... I admit, luck is pretty chaotic, and that's fine. Bold of you to assume that I have any sanity before I started the streaming, Yun. That's really bold of you. Still, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the words. <laughs> Hopefully you get done in school. It, it, it will be so absurd if I get the bloody school right now. It's useless, like, I mean, it's such a useless car, but it will be hilarious. I think it's it's even terrible, like, you can't even do dirt races with it because it's so awful, like, the handling is terrible, but, yeah. Yeah, this randomizer mod is excellent. Hey Mark, hope you're doing well. Here we are. We're more randomized cars. We won the... Initial D86 and that came as a reward for for a, lo for a race that made me lose my mind. I had to deal with a WRX Impressa which broke my mind and it was driving like a near stock Renault 5 Turbo in dirt. So yeah, that was a really really tasty win. In GT3 it's not even good, in Gran Turismo 2 it's good. The only thing that's good is good after Gran Turismo 2 is a straight line speed. Ah, the M3 GTR is really good, actually. The race car, the, the, the street variant is good as well. The race car is good. The problem is, since it's not a DTM car, it cannot be used in the DTM race, and the, there are those few races where you can actually use it and be competitive. But yes, it's good. At least I like it. <laughs> Funny, I just uploaded a video. Of, uh, of an onboard camera of the M3 GTR on my Discord yesterday because it popped on my recommendations. It was like an onboard from 2004 in Spa. And the noise that thing makes is just god tier. I will go deaf listening to that thing. I will, I, I will gladly go deaf if it meant to be inside one of those cars. Like just drive around. It. Just be in a cold driver's seat. If it even has a cold driver's seat. I doubt it has, it only has one, but still, my god, what, what a brilliant sound.
Hey, I really like this track, actually. It's one of my favorite tracks in Gran Turismo 4. I'm, I'm crossing. I'm, I know I'm crossing, but... You have to give me a break. Like, last race was really intense, so I, I, I kind of want to cross a little bit in, in a pretty place. Can I have that for a little bit? Or no, I don't deserve that break. Yeah, imagine if I get a motorbike. Yeah, Tori's trophy. <laughs> right, right. Where we are going, where we are going, we don't need hearing, probably, but we need eyes to see the new price car. Because that's really important. If I get the now nine of five, I I just I will lose my mind. Ah! Okay! This isn't bad. I don't know what I can do with it, but it's not bad at all. I like this thing. Sure, we saved the game. All right, let's take a look at the garage. Let's take a look at my garage. That's an odd looking nine, 905. Yeah, it's not even the right country. I'm going to file a report. And I'm to Amazon for sending me the wrong car. I got scammed. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. I love those VIP builds. Like, I really like these four door saloons with a lot of power. That's why I have no problems with it. Oh. Oh no, it's a 2000 car. Damn. I thought it could do the 90s cup. But it can't. Um. I'm drawing a blank here. Yeah. Oh. Um. He, it's a championship because I'm not sure. Maybe we could. I'm not sure how long these races are. Wish.com. Exactly. Pretty much. This race is called Belong. mean that I, I might not be able to do them all, but yeah, I think we could do it. We could try that. We could try the GTR Cup. This thing should be more than qualified for the GTR Cup. Oh, yes. Oh, and I don't get tire restrictions. How many laps in here? 10 laps. It, oh, it's the road course. Damn. Ooh, this race is long. These races are long. You know what? How, mu how, much, how much does it pay per race? Okay. 12k times 5, it's a little bit under 100k. So... It's going to be a one-point race? Oh. No. I thought it was more. they were more powerful. Well then. I have to look for something else. You've been good to us, Ronald 5. You've been really good to us. So we're going to 
going to keep driving you. Alright, yeah, I want a turbo kit for this one. Uh, those backgrounds were added by countries by the mod creator. I think they're really nice. I think they're suit the game. They suit the game way better. I like them. Yeah, I want. I could use the end one, but it will take too long, and we are starting to get on the tight limit of time for the night. So I want to do something shorter. Will I use the C5? We'll start the C5 with the next trick. Like, I'm going to wrap this thing up with the thing that has carried us for most of the stream. I think it's a fitting send-off for this thing. It deserves a it deserves our respect. So let's all give the the Renault 5 Turbo well deserved break. Yes, there is a Corvette manufacturer race. We're going to do that next time. We're going to wrap things up with the with this thing. All right, we have to change the setup because we had the dirt setup. <laughs> I'm gonna... Um, there's actually a chance for me to get an NSX in this as an opponent, and those are quick, really quick. So I want to avoid those NSX because in tracks like tracks like uh, New York, tracks like New York are really bad, and the Elises are really scary too. Oh. Uh oh. Don't tell me. Oh man. Oh man. It crashed the game. Oh god. Uh, so much setup work for that. So much setup work for that. I just lost my entire setup. Can you believe that? I I forget to do it always from the garage. I forget to do it always from the garage. Did I save, like, the last set of races? Ah, oh, right, I saved when I changed cars. Good. I got scared for a second there. Sports, medium, yeah. That's good. Sorry. But it's fine, you know. When you when you have a, a modified game, sometimes this stuff happens, and it's fine. Now I want to do a few races before I call it a night. I want to do the MR challenge. I want to see what do I get. Now, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. I want to get something good. Something good to wrap the stream. I have to maintain the crown as the best. The best randomizer run. The best Gran Turismo 4 randomizer out of them all. Ah uh, no, the problem is when I whenever I go and do this on the on the on the race on the on the grid, like on the race grid. If I do it on the garage, it's fine. We have found a workaround. Thanks to my brilliant my brilliant viewers which solved this issue when it happened on the first time last Sunday. Can yeah, I buy the turbo? No, I have to buy the turbo. Turbo kit. We're going to save when in, in, just in case. Uh, MR, here we go. You know what will be funny? If I get a truck from one of these races. That will be funny. Yeah, I'm really glad nothing was lost. Thank god I changed cars. I would have been so scared if I lost my save. Oh god, there's an NSX. 
Oh man. 21 points! In theory it should be easy. But I I'm kind of concerned because I had a bad time with those NSX. Now I was driving a worse car in my challenge, but those NSX are quick. So yes, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Oh look, another Clio V6, because we haven't seen enough of you today. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally, totally doing it. Still on rally mode. This isn't dirt, it's tarmac. I have to change my, my driving. Because I'm still used to tarmac. I'm still not used to tarmac. Like put driving this thing again in tarmac. This is this circuit is so easy to cheese. Like the AI breaks so hard for that chic chicane, and I can just cut the track. I know it's not fair, but. driving on NSX and he should be faster. It's not my fault the AI isn't interesting. Oh, excuse me. There we go. I had to... I almost started to sneeze and I had to cover my nose for a second. <laughs> yeah, the Lotus is holding him back. Totally. That does happen. Totally. And I'm grateful, like... I'm grateful that happens because it means I can do challenge runs, but now mm, doesn't seem like the right time to do challenge runs. I might remove the turbo for the next race and put it back on for for New York, because in New York I'm going to suffer. New York is like a drug strip with buildings. <laughs> to see like when I finish the race if the NSX got past the Lotus because those Lotus are quick people sleep on those cars you get them for in the normal game you get them for the MR challenge and they are really quick it's a bit weird to handle I assume that's why people sleep on it but it's a really good car and it didn't in fact it lost a second to a half a second to it No worry, Karma. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Hope, hope your work goes well. And yeah, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, a kart race will be interesting for this track. I think that's the intention. Wait. That will be a clever idea and I got scared because I thought the game crashed for a second. Oh. Oh. Right, I forgot to remove the turbo. I forgot to remove the turbo. Yeah, I forgot to remove the turbo. Yeah, one second. I had a perfect lineup there, so I will have I didn't have an NSX to be scared of. I'm going to remove that turbo kit because it's clearly no, it's clearly too much. I mean, hey, we want to have interesting races, right? I'm going to keep the gears short because it's awesome rain. Yeah, but that made the, cra the game crash last time. That's why the game crashes, because I go into the tune options from the race grid. And it doesn't like that. Oh, great, there's an NSX. But look, it, it starts on the back, so yeah. It starts right behind me, right in front of me. So, quick overtake and off we go. The, the, the speedster is quick, the Elise is quick, 
the a the asl like the silver card there which nobody remembers but it's actually really cool is i i, I don't know how that thing will perform honestly i really like that design it's so cool Uh, the AA breaks really hard for this corner, so I think I'm going to Sorry. <laughs> oh man, that was so nice. Got the double overtake on the end there. Really good. Uh, it, it, thanks to emulation, it looks really clean, doesn't it? This looks totally different from when I used to play it on my CRT. And I had the bottle release, mind you, so it, it, it ran at 50. It, it, it had a lower, a lower speed and everything. No 480i, no nothing. They are all just behind. That's interesting. They they are slower than I remember. Or maybe I just did it with a really slow car for my for my challenge run. Which could be possible. It's totally possible. <laughs> it's totally possible that I went a bit over over and just went went something really slow. You'll get to see it tomorrow. You don't have to wait that long, it's already late, so we'll get to see the card that I picked tomorrow. I'm starting to consider if I really need the turbo for New York. I'm scared because New York is a rolling start and I don't have top speed on my side. I'm just out handling my opponents. I totally have I have no speed and they'll just pull away from me. So yeah, I'm debating that. Maybe this car is better than I thought really. It's, it's really good. That's it, the end of the race. Hey, finish. Oh, the NSX is on four. God. I will feel bad for that NSX, but I know it's going to come back to haunt me on New York. Which is the following race, if I recall. You're losing a speed because your car is not shiny enough. Wash it. Yeah, we'll give it a car wash. Why not? We have disposable income now. We're going to give it a clean and a new oil change because we change oil every 100 kilometers. The always reliable employees of GT Auto. Best employees, employees of the year. I mean, they, they are so good that they have managed to learn how to drink motor oil and survive. I mean, ha that's excellent. The, the guy drinks motor oil and he survives. Like, he's totally employee of the year. <laughs> he even comes clean, like he's not dirty or anything. He comes clean, all clean. Uh, 
say why not. We are already way too deep into this. I don't want to lose my progress. All 600 be too high, maybe. But still, you want to make sure. Look, I'm going to try this without the turbo, and then if I, if I'm too compromised, I'll go back and drop the turbo. This is the least I can do to give you a few interesting races before the stream ends. Oh, nice! 6.9 completion. Totally nice. I mean, given how crazy diets are for some people, I wouldn't put it, I mean, I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't think it, you know. Strange. People come to so some really crazy diets. Uh, GT2 is actually... Oh god, it starts on the lead. Uh... Fine. Uh, 81 points, right? See? <laughs> this is going to be difficult. There's two NSX up there. there. They're going to pull. They're going to destroy. I already know. Yeah, the list is going to struggle. The list is on the same boat as mine. As me, as me really. Oh, my God. Great pronunciation, re yellow card. You should, you should totally, totally dedicate yourself to talking in English. It's totally your thing. Oh, now, now you want me to not progress anymore and just push days until it's 420, huh? I mean, we can sit here and just skip days if that's what you want. Just sit in the garage and drink something, just with a chair and just stay there watching cars and not find out what lies behind the MR challenge. Is that what you really want? Is that the, the experience people come to expect of this channel? Have we become a, a sitting channel, like a, an observing channel, like we just watch cars, we don't drive them anymore? Who wants to drive anyway? It takes effort, and we don't do any effort. It's like waking up each morning. Who wants to wake up each morning? Not me. I don't want to see what's outside. All I know is that those two NSXs are totally pulling away. And... I don't think I have a chance of doing this. Maybe if I throw the car and I get lucky, but... Just push my way into them. But, you know, it's just a gamble. I'm too far to make that move. I'm too far to make that move. I can throw the car and hope they get second place. Hey! Yeah, it's getting... It's worse. It's better than I thought, but I thought this is the final lap. Oh god, break! Break! This thing has terrible breaks. Terrible breaks. I think the GT Auto guy drank my uh, my brake fluid as well, and he didn't change it. I mean, I mean he, he he's done with engine oil, like he needs harder stuff, right? So he's going straight into straight into braking fluid. That that thing that eats paint, you know, you know what it does to your stomach. Yeah, exactly. He's. You're, you're not going to see the light of day after that. Oh man, I'm going to be third. I'm so disappointed. 
I hate losing. <laughs> I hate losing. I can, of course, whenever I can, I go. I I try to make this interesting, and I, I the game just drops two NSX on the on the track that's just mostly speed. Then just look at them go. Then I'm overpowered. Oh no, you have a turbo, you are too overpowered. This is just based on track layout. It's all about track layout. And that's just part of what makes this interesting and part of what makes it really frustrating because it can be really good at one, and then this happens. Four seconds behind. Four. Oh god, these things are so quick. 500 credits, yeah, thanks, I don't need your PC game. I, I can eat for now. We'll, we'll see about that next month. <laughs> we'll totally see about that in the future, but for now I'm fine. Turbo kit, turbo station one. Um, yeah, the gearing was fine. We, we provide all sorts of experiences here that blend. You, you're just seeing the, the top of the iceberg. It goes down, way down. This is just my first couple of streams. This is going to get worse and worse as it progresses. You have already seen me lose my mind with, uh, with an Impreza and I, I cannot promise that, the, the, that I will not I will not lose my mind over any other challenges this game throws at me. In fact, the only thing I can promise you is that probably things will get worse and worse as I go on. Literally. Literally. <laughs> oh, Morg, you know what I'm, you, you know how it goes, right? A new bill was announced. How much is it? It's like less than five dollars. You can't even buy a Big Mac with that thing. God bless. God bless in inflation. God bless the degenerate money printers. What would my sense of humor be without of, without them? All right, Blend. I, this is a long one. All right, just go to bed, man. It's fine. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you rest well, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for dropping by, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, see? CNSX, who's faster now, huh? You can't even pass the MR2. You're stuck behind the MR2, and I bounce between walls. Oh, God. I really like New York because, of course, you can't see it thanks to YouTube quality on the all. But I can see the, uh, the the cars behind me just going in on, and coming on the other straight. It's really fun. And no, this thing isn't stuck. It has a few extra modifications. I tried it with a with with a 200 horsepower variant of this, like without a turbo upgrade, and it got destroyed by two by two NSXs. So I'm came back 
Maybe that door will upgrade and I'm destroying them now. Yeah, they, it, it is on Forza 2. I, I think I remember hearing something about that, actually. <laughs> Can't wait for the tier 7 of the Yellow Bird Iceberg. Well, maybe when this the channel gets to 100k, we'll actually have enough lore to create an iceberg. Define extra modifications. This has a suspension kit, a racing muffler, a racing intercooler, a stage, a stage one turbo, a racing chip, weight reduction stage one, and did I say a limited slip differential? Well, it has that as well. Does that it, does that sound like a complete definition of modifications, or you need uh, more detail? I remember, I remember it all off the top of my mind. My god, I'm busted tonight. <laughs> I'm so far gone. I'm so far gone. <laughs> uh, it has stuck medium tires. So it's nothing special. It, I didn't bother race the sports softs. It has stuck medium tires. So. You can see they aren't too grippy because the braking distance are just disgusting. I didn't change the tires. I only removed the I only removed the dirt tires. That's why that's why you saw me change tires. Just to save a little bit of time. Thanks. We have two races more and we'll see what do I get. Oh, it's Fuji Speedway. I'm going to keep the turbo for Fuji Speedway. I'm going to remove it for the last one in the Capitan, but I'm going to keep the turbo for Fuji Speedway. Oh. Well, I've been sitting in this chair for, chair for a while. Oh, I should spend less time sitting in a chair. I know. Oh man, there's no NSX. Where we roll to get an NSX? At least one. I mean, I have the turbo, so... Might as well. Hey Josh, I hope you're doing well. We we we're pretty busted. We got a lot of good cars. The run remains as strong, like really strong. Hey, NSX on the lead. This is good enough. Oh, the speed doll will be fun, but there's nothing I can do with the speed doll. You know what will be funny? That I get so many good cars and I can still get a bloody truck for the truck race. I have a problem with that race, I always forget it exists. So then I go to do the GT World Championship and I get the sign that, oh, you have to do all beginner events and professional events. And then I'm like, well, well, I did them all. Oh, no, I forgot about the truck races, literally. It happens to me all the time. We'll see about that. You know what will be fun? If I get my own Impressa. And then comes like, I don't know, an Evo or something and destroys me. Ah, the gay car races are fun. I, I never forget about those. <laughs> but I get why some people will. Ah, the, the F-150 Lightning is a classic. This thing is pulling away. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how much people have a Fast and Furious 1 nostalgia for the F-150. But I remember, like, I used to have, like, a toy version of it, like, when I was children on Yellow, and it was really cool. I was like the F-150 lady. Yeah, the SRT10 RAM is a brilliant thing. 
just like pretend in front. It is on Midnight Club 3, that's where I, use, I always try to use it. Um, yeah, the NSX is actually winning on this event, which isn't a uh, good look. Speed. How early do you break? Yeah, and they have to break early as well because my breaks are. And this is going to be fun. You have two laps, of course. You have two laps to catch up. If I don't catch up through this section, then it's probably game over. <laughs> oh no! God damn. We already did a rally races with this thing. That mistake probably cost me the race. <laughs> uh, no. That's so disappointing. I, I, of course, I always have to throw my races away. I mean, this is incredible. This is the, the, the sort of experience you all signed up for. Yeah, a lot of people say that. The, the new lineups just aren't that as exciting as these classic car lineups, and I get that. In a way, I think it's because these cars kind of raced us all, and there's a bit of nostalgia going on. But personally, I think the it's all about the gameplay. The gameplay in these games is just better. And given there's nothing better being released, people just go back to the classic games and they get this higher than god or reputation which in part I understand you know it's if you make something which cannot be beaten in 20 years then it's probably a really good product totally fair and balanced overtake don't tap me in a sex at least not like that because if you tap me like in, in the corner my car will spin I mean, I get why people say the older games are better. In some aspects, they are. In some others, not really. Let's just be honest. But I think there's a lot of mistakes being made with new games. Ah, uh, don't worry, Mark. Thanks for dropping by. I know it's late. Have a good night, and thanks for thanks for dropping by. I I hope you you had a good time. Yeah, clean race bonus, exactly. Like, what kind? What kind? It's like. Sometimes you play, I'm going to say, like Forza Horizon 5, and you get, like, the clean racing bonus, and you just drive like a maniac, and you get the clean racing bonus. Totally. Totally up my alley. And this thing is going to come roaring at me. I'm not as quick. <laughs> Let's just be honest, I'm a bit of a prick. Yep, I'm a bit of a break. Break! Break! I have to break so much early because it goes a little bit. Yeah. Easy. Ah, oh, understeer. The front tires are still, like, totally cold. Just look at them, they are blue. Nothing wrong with getting OP cars. Yeah, I kind of agree. As long as I have races to do. If I don't have races to do and I need bad cars, then they aren't so good. I'm going for the road. I, I don't care. I don't care. Here, I have better acceleration. Yeah, I know the logic. It, it's the front tires. They have no weight. And this thing is light. I, I I understand. I just found found it funny. Oh god, it's time to play the blocking game. Everyone's favorite game. Uh, where are you 
go in here. Bro. No. 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 Oh, God. No way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, uh, no, the requirements aren't randomized. Oh, come on. Sick bastard. They, want they wanted my victory. You know what, NSX? Fine, that's how you want to play. That's how you want to play. We can. I can play that game too. I can ruin your life as well. You'll never race again. What do you mean I have problems? <laughs> it's uh, it's totally totally sane. These brakes are awful. They want new brakes. <laughs> Yeah, you can buy nitrous in this game. Yeah, I'm not going to go anywhere if I don't shift, you know. I'm banging the rebel limiter. To break a bit earlier and just use throttle to turn it. Yeah, thanks for slowing me to run, Grass. I really needed that, otherwise I would have come straight past the chicane. We don't want to cut the chicane, right? Oh no. That would be such a shame. <laughs> that would be such a shame, calling the chicane and winning the race. Oh no. How terrible. How absolutely terrible to just to cut a corner what an embarrassment final lap oh I'm, I'm hitting top speed already okay. yeah I really have all top speed break oh, oh that's scary really scary to focus now I don't want to lose this piece again I have been stuck at Fuji Speedway for long enough I'm, I, I'm, I'm sick of giving the NSX the ego boost it so badly needs because it, it got beaten by a 20 year old French car like he's from 2001 this thing is from 1980 it's 20 years older I'm not giving the, the ego boost it one so badly. He's not having any of it. Ah, uh, Vector M12. There's not an M12 in this game, sadly. The best I can do is a GZ a B16, which is also a pretty crazy car, but it's not a Vector M12. Hey! There we go. With a second to spare. We have an extra race though. And that will be 
they will give us a price car. Hey Miguel, hope you're doing well. It is really good. It is a really good car. Remove the turbo kit and soft suspensions because this is El Capitan and it's a really bumpy track. Well, we're going to raise the right height just a little bit and soften these things just a little bit as well. Oh, I have the long gears. Oh, I have the long gears for New York and Fuji. Right. Shorter gears. Shorter gears. Because we need shorter gears to be competitive. The controller gets stuck and doesn't want to move. Ah, Enthusi is a fun game. Yeah, you get, you get what you mean. Uh, I'm not crazy like about Enthusi, but I respect it and sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's a fun game. Some others it's really frustrating and it takes a special mood to be able to play Enthusia for me. GT3 is an upgraded GT1. Yeah, that's uh, funny because I always have that train of thought. In fact, a few times... Ooh, 100 aspect points. I'm f I'm f uh, a few times I called it Gran Turismo 1 HD in my brain. <laughs> Which goes to show. I just hope I am competitive. Like, it will be a shame if I can win in this track. Ah, the gears are short, so I, I probably went too short on the gears. But it's fine, I get acceleration. Huh? We'll just have to block a bit more and straight. Oh, thank you, ASL. I'm, I'm going to squeeze past. <laughs> also, Green Hell is the Nobergreen. It's just another name for the Nobergreen North Schleifer. Ooh. Got through the sand. Easy now. Don't go into a wall. It's another NSX type R, like from the one in Fuji, but this time it's silver. Of course, it's going to be silver. Last time it was white, which I approve, white cars are cool, but silver? Really? How boring can you get? Yes, I will criticize every time I see a silver car in my screen, it's just part of my nature. I'm sorry if that offends you, I'm sorry if you own a silver car. I'm sorry if you like silver cars, but I don't. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Too much information about the truck layout. God damn. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Because the more I say, the worse it will get, so... Yes. But it totally looks like one. Gonna lie. Oh god, the silver SLR. Yes, do you know what's probably you know why I will say silver? Silver is better because the other color is black and black just you can't see the lines of the car that well, so yes, that fine. But even then, like a black SLR has its own mood going on. It, it looks like a really crazy car, like a Batmobile type of thing. I know people say that all the time, like Batmobile is just a cliche term. I don't like it, but yes, totally. I get, the, I get it. It will be cool in black as well. Why not?
You see, this part is full, is full of bombs, and if I hit one too hard, I lose control. This track is brutal on the tires, by the way. And there's an endurance race which forces you to do this race for this track for 70 laps with sport tires. <laughs> it's a shame, like it, in Gran Turismo 4, you have to do 25% of the game before unlocking endurance races. Because I would really love to do endurance races with the randomizer. I will argue a silver I will argue a silver LSR SLR is more of a bond car. Interesting. That's an interesting argument. I can totally see your point. Favorite track in the entire Grand Turismo franchise. It's going to be boring, but it's Grand Valley. I really like Grand Valley, it's probably one of the best tracks. It's it's the most Grand Turismo track out of the Grand Turismo franchise. Of course, all of the other ones are cool, but Grand Valley is just the franchise. If, if you want me to define the, the franchise in a track, it's Grand Valley, and that's why it's the best. Oh, okay. It's time for the price car. What do we get? Oh, wow, hello there, another GTR! Oh, it's silver, man, it's karma. Man, that's so, so unfair. But it's a uh, B-Spec R33. It's something. And I really have, a, I already have like three GTRs. And of course, always the long one. Always the long one. No matter the context. Alright, so it's getting late. I think we had a good run. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun today and I hope you all had a lot of fun with this randomizer adventure that we are taking care of. So I need to sleep, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Tomorrow I'm going to upload a new video. So stay tuned for a new video tomorrow. Also, if you haven't le left a like on the stream, now is your last chance to do it. So leave a like now before the stream is over. And I'll appreciate you all for being here. Seriously. Thanks all. Thanks you all. It's a lot of fun that I get to stream these games with you all. So have a good night. I'll see you soon. And remember, new video tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now.